Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. It's about that time where you start thinking about fall. Uh, temperatures are going down 65, 75. It's around there right now. So I'm starting to think about maybe winterizing my sprinklers in about two weeks to a month. But I have to think about all the leaves that are gonna fall. What do I have? My possession that has a bagger the only mower i have with a bagger albeit homemade bagger it's a john deere bagger that i fabricated to fit on my toro 6160 turn it's worked pretty well for two or three seasons but uh it's a little floppy and also the attachment where the chute goes to the right side of the mower deck it's not a good connection so sometimes the blade rubs on it and it destroys it so i'm going to try to fix that a little bit today and uh also add a metal frame to my deck i'll show you in a minute but let me get it out of storage So here it is. Here's my Toro 616Z. I got it through a trade, maybe three years ago. My issue is this. The side has a clip here where you would push the pin through. And the mulch cover would come off. As you can see there is no frame that uh, keeps it, you know, sturdy. And then the bagger chute, when it goes on here, it hangs right here. So the blade kind of rubs against it. I'm going to try to figure out a way for me to make a frame here today. And then so I can rest the chute comfortably on the frame so it doesn't touch the blades all the time. So it's really dirty and stuff, but... I mean, when you, when you mow your lawn and you bag all the stuff, it's going to be dirty. This is an Onan 16, a post twin. Wonderful engine. Uh, I haven't done anything to this since I got it. Um, oil's still good. Runs just fine. I guess I could blow it out a little bit with my blower, but uh, let me show you the bagger system that I made. As you can see, this is a John Deere bagger. And uh, I fabricated the chutes to make it fit. And then the connection that I have from the chutes to the deck looks like this. And right there is my problem. The bottom part always gets caught on the blades and it rubs it a lot. So I want to try to fix that somehow. Uh, I've got this air vent. It was like a roof air vent thing it's like this big round thing you know um i've used a lot of that material to fix other decks before this is the only part i have left and it has this part on the bottom here it almost looks exactly like the kind of lip that you would put on the frame for the deck i just oh does it fit i think i'm off by a little yeah i'm off by an inch couldn't we all use an extra inch? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could. Maybe I could work it out. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? That lip. It looks like it would go right there. I don't know. I'll have to sit around and think about it.
I've cut a couple of strips. Because this was too short, I cut another strip so that it would match up with that. Um, like this. Uh, like that. Like that. And um, I have to join these two so that it's long enough to make it and fill the space that I want to fill, right? Uh, so I was going to just drive two self-tappers in here, but it will stick out that this in the back and it will look yucky. So I saw on TV where people would use a welder and just drill like a couple holes in there and just tack weld those holes and that will stick. So I'm going to drill four holes in here. I'm going to try that technique. I've never done it before. I'll see how it works. I'm going to try the same technique as I joined these two pieces that so seems to work pretty well. Bending it to fit, I uh, drew four small holes here, connect there, and I'll just tack the four holes and it should stay there. And then we'll paint this afterwards and we'll work on the fitment of the chute to that later. Um, I'm going to clean this out. it off most of the paint in the area clamped it so it's nice and tight same on the other side I'm gonna do this side first
So I realized that um, this thing was aluminum. <laughs> You're not really supposed to, I mean, you can't uh, weld aluminum with this thing, but uh, you know what? It's sticking. And so uh, that's good enough for me, man. Uh, when it, uh, I'm gonna clean this up, repaint it red, and uh, then try to fit the chute on it. And it looks okay. guys next time on mowers and blowers later